welcome to the back of the net match day vlog. It's me, Sam. Hey, Tiggs. How are you doing? Well, I'm doing well. Are you doing well, mate? It's a, it's a match day against the Gooners, the Arsenal, a team riding high. Mm -hmm. We could do with a win, though, couldn't we? We definitely could. I mean, there's a little bit of hope in the air. They, they, you know, Tom and you covered in the pre-match stuff. There's a lot of injuries going on with the Arsenal team at the moment, so we won't get their full strength. But then we've got Dom. Is Dom playing? Mm. Don't know yet. As, at time of filming, we don't know. By the way, so uh, this morning, well, happy birthday, Kerry Phillips. She won't want me to say the number, but in Roman numerals, it's an L of a birthday, if you get what I'm saying. Do you have a prediction for today, how it might go? How are you feeling right now? Okay, head, we're gonna lose 2-1. Heart, one all draw, what about you? Well, I was, feel I was feeling probably about the same, and then I spoke to Andrew in the car, and he thinks that Don might score a hundred and something, 108 goals. Right, I need to is, speak to him about this. We have to check, on? we have to check. What's going on? So, what's this about how many goals you think that a certain player's going to score today, right? Dom Solanke. I've just got a feeling that that's going to happen. Right, go on then. How many goals is he going to score today? 108. I'll level with you, mate. I don't think that'll happen. Andy Jennings here. How are you feeling, Andy, ahead of this one? Take um, a point and get out of here or what? Definitely take a point. Similar to the Chelsea game, obviously we're playing a team that's at, almost at the top of this game. Um, it's interesting with the shared history of Arteta and Irola, mm. um, that trying to play in a similar sort of way. Um, it's interesting to see how we set them out there, whether we try and really just let them play in front of us for a little bit in the first half like we did against Chelsea, or we really go hell for leather um, and, and really try and get out. I'm really interested to see. But they've got some quality players uh, all over the park. Uh, they've only improved from last season with the addition of Rice in there. Um, I'm not expecting too much, but let's see how it goes. Right, we've got Louis here. Louis, how you doing, mate? You all right? Yeah, I'm very good, thank you. Um, can we get a result today against a London side? <laughs> and a good one at that. Uh, I was... I would say optimistic before I saw Saka and Rice back in the squad, yeah, yeah. but now I'm, nerv I'm very nervous so we're just going to be absolutely taken apart. What's your prediction? 1-0 Bournemouth. <laughs> Hello! Neil, how are you? I don't know where you? that came from. I've got to stop him drinking. <laughs> <laughs> What's your thoughts about the game today? Because um, I tell you what, Villa taking apart Brighton at the moment, 5-1 now. Mm. Sort of looking at it thinking um, maybe we should have got something against Brighton. Yeah, I mean, I didn't think Brighton looked very good. I think we gifted them back into it as well. But you look at it and think maybe we should have got something against Chelsea. Maybe we should have got something against Brentford. Um, today, today I think it's going to be really tough for us. I think I think we'll, we'll struggle in the midfield. Um, so, And will we have enough up front? But we've always got hope, haven't we? So let's wait and see. Do you think it's a case of them putting Rice and Saka on, hoping to get the job done in the first half, take them off as quick as they can? Yeah, I think I think all, Man City. Yeah, I think all the big sides will do that. The, the Europe in mind and stuff like that. So if they can get two or three nil up, they'll start rolling it down yeah. like they do. But let's see. Prediction, go on then. Uh, I think Arsenal win two one. This is Tom Jordan. You alright? Yeah, good you. Uh, good, um, you've just seen the teams come out. What's going on? Uh, pleased with Dom, because Dom started. So, as we expected, but um, obviously that wide option is always up for debate. And he's gone with Clivert and Tavernier, so Christy Billing and Cook stay in the, in the middle. No Adams on the bench. I don't know if that's because he's um, maybe not recovered as well as we thought after the cup game. I kind of said, if Dom is a bit of a doubt in starting, is that has he put more on the bench to go, we've got an extra attacking option? Yeah. Maybe. Um, from their perspective... What's happening? Rice is fit, Saliba's uh, fit, uh, Saka's fit, uh, uh, Trossard's on the bench. So. For them, it's surely a case of trying to get the job done in the first half, yeah. taking them off with yeah. half an eye on Man City. Yeah, I would have thought so, mate. I would have thought so, which is kind of what we alluded to, wasn't it? So, yeah, it doesn't surprise me too much. I'm glad Dom's all right, as long as he gets through it okay. Tough game, mate. Really tough game. But if we can skag some of the day, who knows, mate? Who knows? Oh. Uh, I'll stick to one all, but I don't believe it. Not one part of me believes it, but one all. OK, we've got James here. James, hello, hello. impeccable choice of shirt today, yeah, man. Great, what a beautiful fresh, shirt. Fresh drip. How are you feeling about the game today? I'm feeling today? great. I'm feeling hopeful, you know. I think it's going to be an easy win. Really? Yeah, easy? So. Do you reckon? Easy win, yeah. They'll slip up, many slips for Arsenal. I think we're going to 
goes to the win, yeah. Well, Easy. we've seen that Brighton at the moment, 4-1 uh, down, so it just shows the big teams can have yeah, off days. Yeah, yeah. We've got Dom Solanke in our lineup. That's absolutely huge for us, yeah. isn't it? Do you reckon he can notch today? Of course, yeah, he'll put him away, but there's no tomorrow. We've got Ross here, familiar face to many. Uh, how are you feeling about today, mate? Yeah, confident today. You know what? You're the second person I've chatted to who actually feels confident. Why? Why? Um, I don't know. I just feel that we deserve a bit of luck. We've had a few tough games. I mean, out of the first five games, six games we've played, we played top six teams. True. So it was like, we've got to beat one of them. So what's your prediction then? 3 1 Bournemouth. That's enough chatting done, don't you think? I think it's time to get in there. Come on, you Reds. It's very visible that Ryan Christie is playing behind Philip Billing, so it's like Phil Billing may be playing in that 10 today, but look how far advanced Tavernier and Clive are as well. Arsenal haven't really penetrated. We've got into their box once or twice, but let's see if we can actually make use of this half. Is he in? Is he in? Is he in? Oh, what a good tackle! What a good tackle! Oh my God! He tackled it, and then it went back onto Dom's foot, so it went wide, but I'll tell you what, Takes out of a chance, that. That was a great chance. That was very exciting. It's a really good endeavour by Marcus Tavernier to put Dom through that. Yeah, and the quick turnaround from winning the ball as well in the midfield. Yeah. I think that's the way forward in this game, isn't it? First solid chance for either side, really. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Goal. 1 0 Arsenal. Easy header. The player that we did want playing has scored. Their first real attack of the game and 1-0 up, mate. Just that clinicality there once again. Yeah, it was soft, wasn't it? Yeah, very soft, but... Just when it felt like things were going quite well, was yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. Always the way, isn't it? It's having, way. it's having technical quality when you need it. And we, we had an attack just before that with Marcus Tavernier, put through by Ryan Christie, and his pass was awful. Yeah. I think, I don't know who it's trying to find. I think Dom Slank was running one way. And then Clivert is running another. It's played yeah. behind Clivert. Yeah. Arsenal got the other end. Scored to nothing. Yeah, exactly. And that's like it's frustrating when simple things then unravel, and then you see Arsenal do something as basic as that. Yeah. So there's a there's a roundup of the scores on Tiggs' phone. Now these are the latest down here. Take a look at that one. Wolves are beating Man City. Own goal for Wolves. Wow. Man City. Wow. Will it last though? Jury's out. Oh, that's a hell of a strike. Good save, Neto. Well, a sudden stop from Neto. Powerful shot, my Take God. Oh, go on. Come on, get the ball in the box. I thought it's... Oh, that's not quite... Oh. Catching practice. I'll tell you what, we're having a few chances at the moment, but one thing that's infuriating me is just our final... Delivery I don't or like touch that. in the I box. I don't like that looping ball. I nah. just, you know, it just doesn't work. I, I prefer it hard, whipped in low. Do you know what I mean? Or mid, mid range. Yeah. I, it's just, that's just not working for me. I just find it like Tavernier was just on the byline and just yeah. took that extra touch. You wanted to fire it in low and hard. Yeah. But you know, Sinesi could have put it in earlier. We're just making a few, like taking a few. Extra we're not going to get many. We're not going to get many chances, are we? And you know, spaces at a premium in their penalty yeah. box, and for some reason we decide we can have extra touches. We just don't need it. Just have a shot, lads. Oh my god. Oh, the, oh, 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 oh. I mean, that all came from Phil Bill losing the ball in a stupid position. Just going on, just going on a simple run and not even picking it up. And here they are with the pen. 
could be another 2-0 lead at half time for the second season in a row. Right, so Bukayo Saka would usually be taking it, has left it to Odegaard to take. Not sure what the deal is with that. Last week he, he nicely dinked it in the North London derby. I suppose Martin Odegaard's an unknown entity really. So how's Neto going to handle this? Let's see. A save would be massive. However... Scored two before half-time last time. One today, mate. I'm going to get stuff as well. Another touch, another touch. Corner. Oh, over the bar. Well, he got a corner over the first man, which is a bonus. Oh. Suck in there. Absolutely. Right, we've got some seating outside the South Stand at half time now, which is which is good. Obviously the uh, King's Plaza people are over there. But this is the Park Plaza where you can get a beer at half time now, which has been something that the North Standers have not been able to do for ages. We're inside, but I tell you what, there's a lot, there's a lot of space in here, but it's quite nice now too, because it's been spread out between you know three different areas in the yeah. South Stand. You've got one side of the stand that's hot dogs, yeah. others with the coffee and more food, and then this place serving beer. And you, and you just said it. It's improvedly, it's massively improved. Hugely improved South Stand sort of half-time experience. You know, you've got people in here sat down, you've got people out there sat down as well outside. That's really nice, bench outside, people milling around. Easy to get a bit, very easy to get a beer. Easier than any other stand in the stadium, I would say. Well, hands down. So, yeah, I really, really like it. I really like it. And you know what happened at half-time in the last game? Tom Jordan got one of these yeah. and it brought us luck. Hoping it does the same. Well, that's, for me, that's, that's for you. Have you got one? No. Uh, did you not want one? No, I, I, I had a pipe. <laughs> <laughs> I've got 12. Come on. Oh, dear. That's a penalty. I mean, that is the worst penalty one could ever concede. It's so obvious. Oh, my God, man. That... I mean, their, their legs there were tangled up like spaghetti when he went to ground, weren't they? I mean, they... It's a pen. It's a pen. All day long, it's a pen. I mean, what are you? What was he thinking? I mean, that's a booking. That's a booking. It's got to be a booking. It's absolutely silly. He came in out of nowhere as well. Looks like Arsenal have got another. Yeah. If that if that tackle had been anywhere on the pitch, then. It would have been a foul, wouldn't it? I mean, it's you know, I'm, I'm down there. So it looks like it's a it's a time of caring and sharing for the Gunners because whilst Odegaard scored Arsenal's second, their first penalty, Kai Havertz is being given the responsibility of netting potentially their third goal. And boy, does he really need this? Actually, he really does. Kai versus Neto. Who's coming out on top? 
got a feeling it could be the former. And look, everyone's absolutely fucking made up for him, and you can see why, man. I mean, he's a, he's a player under pressure, running off to his supporters. We're absolutely loving life. Sunny day, Bournemouth, South Coast, up 3-0 with 40 or more minutes left. Oh, I mean, they're loud as well. Compare their, those faces with these two here. Oh, man. They deserve their 3 0. They, they deserve it just for being clinical, man. But oh my God. Yeah, I mean, I don't even think we've got terrible. I mean, like. We just, we just gift wrap, we've we, gift wrapped we two we moments have. to them. Yeah. I don't mind organised chaos, but that, that hasn't been organised so far. It really hasn't. Oh my God. We've been competitive in yeah, those in matches. Like, in this, is, this is yeah. where we've been ripped apart in this yeah. without yeah. without them ripping us apart, which is weird. Yeah, completely. I, I mean, there's lots of good things about the performance that if the goals weren't there, that you pick out. We moved the ball around quite well, under pressure at the times as well. We've you know carved out a couple of potential chances, and there's sort of glimpses of moments that just never quite come together. But you're right. Like the goals that the goal that they scored and the two penalties, so you know we made it so easy. They're going to be charting that now all afternoon. Kai Havertz scores again. This is one of these. This is one of these sunny afternoons where the Arsenal fans come down and ruin us with a chart that we just keep singing. They're through. They're through. It all. Oh, no, that was, yeah, I agree, that was no foul. It lost the ball anyway, he clipped Zavani, but that was not a foul. That is one way to take a photo. Loving their photo work here. Yeah. Oh. Eddie Ketia, you know what? It's not the first time that chance has been heard at this stadium, is it? Right, Max Aaron's created some space though. This is nice. Go on, right? What can you do from here? Can you get a shot goal there? Oh, look, we're doing being too intricate in their box, man. This is it, man. We've just got to pull the trigger, even if it's with the wrong foot. I think. You know, a lot of the times this season, I'm seeing players that are afraid to shoot on the foot yeah. that they don't conventionally shoot with, pass with. You're a professionals, man. Just, just hit it. Yeah, and I might be completely wrong, but there does seem to be a little bit of passing the responsibility around a little bit. You know, yeah. I'll pass it to my mate because I think he's in a better place than I am. Yeah. But we're we're three 0 down. Just have a, have go. a go. Goalkeeper might spill it, and then your buddy taps it in. Come yeah. on. Here we go. What's, what's happening here? Really high pitch noise coming out of speakers in the South Stand. Does that mean I've got hearing of dog or something? What does that mean? The dog's <laughs> gonna hear that. Well, that's been a rough performance. Oh. I think if we're gonna get a win from this, Sam. If you think we're gonna get a win from that, you are barking up the wrong tree, young man. <laughs> Let's just pause whilst we consider what we've just listened to. <laughs> there is the live league table. It's not looking pretty, eh? Oh my god! Oh my god, man! I mean, Arsenal should have had about 10 yeah, free kicks yeah, before that even got to a shot, but... Yeah. I mean... Seven, pass out of misery. Pass out of misery. Bloody hell. Seven minutes of injury time. We're about two and a half minutes through it. They've got a free kick on the apex of the penalty area. It wouldn't surprise me if this goes in. Just looking at social media, like, Paul fans are not happy with this. What did I say? What did I say, man? 
this is bad. Bad. Worst performance under Adonia Rola. Shall we shall we do fan cams now? Yeah. Because that'll be fun to do. Hold your horses. Hold your horses. It could be offside. It must be close. <laughs> oh dear, dear. Right. Quick wee fan cams. We are outside Dean Court. It is uh, uh, Iriola got rolled over. He's just frustrating and nothing went Cherry's fan, Mike here. Mike, how are you? How awesome. Great I, day today. I detect an accent, Mike. Yes, Where are you I'm, from? I'm from the States, Nebraska. Have you been here before? Uh, to Bournemouth? Yeah. Yeah, long time. It's 2016. It's the reason I'm a Cherry's fan. My daughter was going to school up in Hull, and we took a trip down to the South Coast and then to London. We stayed overnight in Bournemouth, and I just started watching the Cherries on TV in the States, and that's about when you could actually watch the, the Premier League every week. We've got a familiar face here, Robbie Lyle, Arsenal fan team. Last time I chatted to you, I think it was at the FCAs, where you you believed. I'm going to ask you the same question, <laughs> Robbie. Do you believe? Because that, that was men against boys, it, it felt like today, and uh, you controlled it. You completely controlled yeah, you know what? Arsenal away from home this season have been superb. You know what I mean? They haven't conceded a goal yet, They've and they've controlled every game. And You know what I mean? A, a lot of games have been games where you look at it and you think, they're quite difficult, you know. I mean, I mean, I guess, you know, obviously Bournemouth have been having a tough time of it yeah. so far this season. But everywhere we've gone, we've had that level of control. And I thought today, Arsenal were excellent. They didn't really get out of second gear. They just like controlled the game. Um, were very patient, waiting for their moments. And you know, um, two penalties, but that came from good attacking play. And um, yeah, we deserve to win. And um, you know, yeah, and it, it's been a fantastic day you know what I mean I bet you wish you chose another game to watch though because that was uh, that was a difficult watch well, well you know um, the, the lads are better than they you know more talent you know they're obviously investing in the in the in the, in the team and uh, I think there's, there's the season's gonna be fine I'm, I'm positive and uh, they just got you know it's been a while you know give them a few more months of playing together right and they'll be fine I'm excited Mike for is positive I am. You know what, I was speaking to some fans last week who were really, really upset after the Tottenham game. And they were like, oh, you know, you know, we can't afford to lose that many points, we've blown it already. And I'm like, listen, hold on, man, it's seven games. Okay, even if we'd have won every, all of them, we're still, you know, I mean, there's a long way to go in this season. And what if City drop points? And they're like, they're not going to drop any points, don't be stupid. And look, they drop points against Wolves. It's the Premier League. This is what we love about it, you know what I mean? You can go anywhere. And if you're not on job, points drop. So it's been a great day, great day for Arsenal. City drop points. Man United lost as well. Yeah. Fantastic. A good day for you. <laughs> Bad day for us, Robbie. Thanks. Why go down to the beach? <laughs> well, I did say that if Bournemouth win, we're going to go out. I think after that performance, we need a couple of drinks, don't we? It was a formidable performance by the Gunners. Cherries. Well, some lessons to be learned. We now in the relegation zone. Credit to Gary O'Neill and Wolves for getting the result. Credit for Luton Town for getting their first win of the season. It's not squeaky bum time, but certainly slightly worrying now that we've got a massive game against Everton at the weekend. And I, for one, am pretty nervous. Tix, it's been a hell of a day, isn't it? It's been great. That's <laughs> <laughs> no, not, really Let, not. Let's go and have a drink, shall we? Out of the chairs. See you in the next one. Like, subscribe. Yeah.